Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Claris. Now this here is their X-T2CR Pro. Now I was sent this latest model from Claris directly, they wanted me to test and review. This light comes in this box. Start off here on the back with the specs. As you can see there, 2100 lumens on the highest output that this can do. Now if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause screen. Otherwise, let's open this up see what's in. Now this is a complete kit, so this will come with everything you need. Get started outside this box. A huge plus for that. Take everything out of here. Here's a brochure for more of their lights. Front and back. I like when companies do that. That way you can kind of see what else they have to offer. Got the USB Type C charging cable. Gonna have to push everything through the other end here. And we have one O ring and one lanyard. Here's the user manual multi-language front and back we'll start off with the light and the holster I like the fact that the light is shipped in the holster really guarantees the light to be no blemishes on it. it does have a D-ring on here but it is plastic double stitched material not too bad on here seen worse that's a quick release there actually it might be triple material there nice it does have its name on it I did get somebody that said that I'm uh, seeing more and more companies not badging their holsters. There you go, right there on the front. Nice lined, and this is padded as well. Nice. Nice quality holster. Now let's go ahead and take a look here at the light. There it is. Nice compact design. Definitely has that tactical feel to it here. It's got the lever and the power switch there. I like flashlights that are all the same thickness all the way like this. The bezel on here shiny. Clip on here you can remove this if you don't want it on here. Clip is pretty tight on here to be able to 
match it up with the port. I just do that for some reason. I like to be able to, if I'm carrying it in my pocket, to protect the port. Style and design on this is nice. It's got some areas here on the body. So if you're wearing gloves, be able to grip it better. Won't slip out of your hand as easy. It's got a semi-gloss finish on there. Go ahead and take a look here at the port. Charge it on the go. And this runs on an 18650, so if you do have extra on hand, you can run it and just quickly swap it out. And the machining and finish on this is nice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at that textured reflector. Now this is running the Cree XHP35 HD LED. Very familiar with that LED. It's been around for quite a while. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you the battery that it comes with. Spring there on the tail. Including other contacts there. Nice quality. Now you do have a protection piece here on the battery. You can discard it, save them, like I do, even if you don't save it for this light. Here's the battery that it comes with. This is a 3100 milliamp. This is a protected cell. I believe this is 15 amps. So it should be plenty of power to run this light. So you definitely want to use another 18650 that's at least 10 amps. You can use unprotected cells in this. It does have a spring on the head there. So flat tops, whatever you have on hand should be fine. If you're going to charge the battery in the flashlight then I definitely want to have a protected cell in there. Now let's go through the UI. Activating the light with that power switch there, using the lever to go down through those light outputs. Cool white. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the beam. Nice combination beam. See, there's a lot of bleeding around the edge of that. Yeah, there is a little bit of cut off there, but it just tapers off at the very edge. Not super sharp. Highest output there. 2100 lumens is a lot of light. <laughs> Believe it or not. Now if you do want to get special mode, you're going to press down and hold. And you can release it. If you're only needing it momentarily, press down and hold it. And that is a constant rate on the flash, and it is very distracting. Full light output on that. Now if you leave it down long enough, it will stay on there until you tap it again. Right back to the regular UI. Really simple and easy to operate these lights. These are great for tactical. They're kind of geared more towards that, but you can use them for everyday carry if you wish. 
and these 18650 batteries that are coming out nice they're catching up with the uh, the time so hopefully we'll see more of like a 4000 milliamp or even more coming out for these flashlights I've seen them in a couple already so they are soon to be coming can momentary this as well for tactical pressure switch that great for tactical same goes for the strobe off pressure switch that you need to blind somebody especially law enforcement And that's all there is to this light. Very simple, easy to operate this. Nothing difficult. Switch here helps you keep it from turning on, especially if you're using this holster. It is good enough, in my opinion, for everyday carry. Feels pretty rugged. Now, the build quality is nice on this. I'm not seeing any issues with it. Pretty straightforward. On the design and it's got a nice beam on there combination beams are my favorite all right well let's take this Claris outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the Claris XT2CR Pro starts off on the highest, so we'll do turbo. See how it does. Famous Tree of Life, 138 feet. Nice large hot spot here. Now I was hoping to get more range out of this but it's not too bad 238 feet there behind the tree of life usually see across the park to the playgrounds I have a link to my testing area here and my distances should you have any questions or doubts I'll go down See how it does. Next level there. It had already stepped down, I believe. But we'll make sure by going through them all. 38 feet. 65 feet to this tree. Beam on the fence. Come over here and kind of take a look at the range on this. Still pretty good. I was hoping with this LED it would have been better. And it's a little slight output. Good for up close. If you're needing to see something. You don't need all the light output. Let's go ahead and uh, jump back up the turbo. Now remember this is 2,100 lumens. So with this beam type, it does pretty good. See a large area, spill area is very nice. Do a beam profile here before we end the video.
Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Nice beam performance on here. Does have some good range. And spill area is more than enough. Useful, that is. To be able to see the foreground. If you're walking with the light. Or if you're trying to find a suspect. If you're law enforcement. Got a lot of light output. And uh, this does get pretty toasty on the head. There's not too much heat sinking. So, but short burst, it should be fine. It will cycle down due to heat. So you don't have to worry about it if you forget, which I do at times. But nice, rugged build quality on here. I mean, I'm not seeing any issues with this light. Very simple on the UI. And uh, this Cree, it's been a while since I did a review with this in it, but uh, nice to see some other lights that I've done, including a work light uh, that I did. It's nice to see Cree in some of these lights again. Nice to be able to charge this on the go. Also, you can use any 18650 in this light. So if you do have extra, make sure you have at least a 10 amp or higher. That way it'll be safe to run. Unprotected or protected cells will work in this. The holster here is definitely suited enough in my opinion for everyday carry and it's good quality. I'm not seeing any issues. And that's, believe it or not, is very important. If you spend $75 to $100 on a flashlight and it's got a cheap holster and it falls off, you lose it, not going to be too happy. So that's the way I explain it to some of the manufacturers in the past when I've told them about it. All right. Well, I want to thank Claris for sending me this XT2CR Pro to review. Now if this kit is something you're interested in getting, I will leave a link down below the video including a special discount code that will help save some money on this kit just in case you're interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel. Otherwise you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these new lights from Claris to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness.